Microphone check, check two one two. Um, hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm here to show how I'm using the DCO log analyzer. Um, this is an application that's created by Shiny Macro. So what the DCO log analyzer allows us to do is look at our damage to get a visual and further depth of what's our powers, how hard they're hitting, how long they're hitting, um, how many how many targets they're hitting. So also as a disclaimer, this is only for the PC. So if you're on the console, uh, that's a no go. However, though, if you guys on the console do decide to jump on the test server on the PC side, um, maybe you guys can uh, reference this video just for a, a brief, uh, maybe just to help a look at the application to use. So before we get started, yeah, there's like two things you got to do. First off is you're going to have to, before you get started on your rotation in front of your targets, you're going to have to clear your logs. Um, your combat log can be found in default. Go to Documents, My Games, DC Universe Online, and Logs. So there's two things you need to do. Either one, delete that log, or go ahead and copy it and uh, save it into another folder. Um, the application only allows you to upload a maximum of 10 megabytes. And depending how long you've been playing, uh, it could easily reach that, reach past that. So you go ahead and delete this, have it fresh new. There should be nothing here. Because this is a preloaded uh, video, I went ahead and left the combat log in here. This will just be for demonstrational purposes. Now the second thing you're going to want to do is in game, you're going to want to go into your settings and in the gameplay tab, you're going to want to toggle the on switch for right combat logs, this to on, and then you're going to want to write the combat log intervals to one second. And finally, you're going to want to hit the combat parser interval to select after combat. Now, once you have now once you've done those two things, you're going to go ahead and start a rotation. Afterwards, you're going to just upload your log to the site. The rotation I'm doing here, it's just my munitions one. Just the uh, killer instincts for the self buff. Rail guns for the cone AOE, five barrel minigun for the cone AOE, and following up with the wrap up on that would be um, explosion for the melee. I think I should be wrapping it up. This is a pretty quick rotation. Yeah, one more, one more. Yep, that's pretty much it. So, afterwards, we're going to go ahead and stop, pull back from our targets. Then we're going to go ahead and open up our web browser. In our search section, we're going <clears> to... <throat> in the search bar, we're going to type... Um, well, actually, I'll go ahead and put a, the link in the descriptions. It's going to be spark dot r studio dot com backslash mez backslash dcuo backslash again i'll go ahead and put a link in the description and i do suggest that uh <clears throat> you do bookmark this uh, website two ways to put our logs in here upload it or paste the log I'll select upload and it'll take me to the default browser again. Uh, I mean the default uh, file 
where your logs are at. So if, if it takes you somewhere else, you'll just go ahead back to go ahead and select documents, my games, double click that, DC Universe Online and logs. And then it'll just take you back here. Select that. Select which log, uh, which log, and then you'll select a name for the tune. Voila, we have a visual breakdown right here of the graph. Um, right here on the bottom right hand side, 100% overall damage. We could see which was kit, which was doing the most to the least. Move on to the next category for the breakdown by time. Okay. We can see our high and low points, our total damage, the name of the tune, the time, the damage per second. Now, hold on. When you're in front of the sparring target, uh, this is what you'll be using to measure your DPS, damage per second. Now, we go further right here to the right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right here on the effective DPS. We'll only we'll only use this if there were if we were instances like in a raid and there were long period long downtime periods, then we'll look at the effective DPS. Other than that, if we're in front of the sparring targets, we'll go ahead and just measure our damage per second right here at this section at right here. Let's look at our top hits. We have our time, which was the top hit, the name of the tune, the target and the value the move our row whether or not it crit and the logs i'll go ahead and hit the entries to 100 because i don't want to have to keep uh, clicking on to moving on to a page and because there was explosion i want to go ahead and click uh, the search bar on the website um, also I want to note that it's um, alphabetical case sensitive so you're gonna have to either capitalize or lowercase depending on the move that you were looking for right here if you can see my pointer it's explosion so I'm gonna do capital S P capital S and then lowercase everything else and here we have the move explosion the times that it was it was done at target so right here in 38 seconds it was roughly about mm, 35 40k all right that's pretty much it with the combat log uh oh, well actually one more thing because right here we're doing our damage in the league hall sparring targets they have an increased defense and uh, everything matches up visually with the DCO log analyzer versus this. But if for instance, you wanted to compare the damage that you would have been doing in the watchtower or the holodoom, because those sparring targets have uh, lower defense to um, be similar to the ads and mobs that you usually find in raids and alerts. You'd go ahead to the bottom left hand corner here, right here where the combat breakdown is. And right here, hopefully you can see my pointer where it says adjusting damage for different sparring targets, defense stats. We'll go ahead and select that box. Scroll down a bit. Now, this is for home turf mod that you usually have in your chest. Since I have penetrating strikes, I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now, right here since I'm in the league hall sparring targets that's what I'm gonna to want to use and I want that sparring targets to compare it to well the watchtower hall sparring targets breakdown by time you'll notice the increase in defense <clears throat> um, went from 17,000 DPS to 23,000 DPS Again, that's because the league hall sparring targets have increased defense. It's just uh, it's just adjust, <coughs> adjusting the damage by like 25, 20 to 25 percent increase, so that we could get an estimate of how much damage we would be roughly doing um, 
in instances with ads and mobs. As far as the logs go, explosion. Just want to look. Thirty-eight seconds. Six, seventeen, twenty-three, thirty-three, thirty-five, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. 50, 45, 46, 47, 53, 54, 55, 56, 50, right, roughly like 56k for explosion for that last hit. Um, adjusting again uh, about 56k thousand hit for that last for that one second last hit for explosion I was just wanting to check that um, comparing if I was doing uh, the damage on ads so what a lot of us do on here well me basically is when I jump on the test server or I'm on live I, I I'll run a lot of a lot of the powers in my tree my power tree and try to find which one's doing the most amount of damage and which one's doing the least amount of damage. The least amount of damage, I'll go ahead and start uh, cutting that away from the rotation and trying to maximize the rotation to get uh, something what you have here, basically just three, three or four powers. And it depends all on range, uh, mi uh, mid range, melee range, far range, um, whether or not how many targets you have in front of you, behind you, single target, multi-target. So yeah, hopefully this um, helped you guys out or helped somebody out that uh, was thinking about uh, wanting to do their own uh, uh, test to make to create their own loadouts. Uh, this helped me out really a lot, you know, Shiny Macro. Um, thanks a lot because before this, I I really didn't have like a real understanding of you know how much damage I was doing per second, which powers. I was going mostly on what people were like saying what was the rotation to do. But after like getting my hands on this uh, application, um, I became independent and basically uh, just did my own like analysis and research on what damage is what damage uh, was working with me what was the best for me and uh, it helped me out a lot so hopefully this app uh, this application could help you out as well um, that's uh, pretty much it with the video and uh, leave a comment if you uh, have any questions or any suggestions about this all right then um it's pretty much it uh laters laters and peace